Chile and it is July 1st, Canada Day. I am just out exploring Halifax. Came out a bit late, but it's currently almost 11. And so just heading down to the bus where I can take that all the way to my first stop, which is gonna be the Halifax Citadel on top of the hill. So it's gonna be cool. I heard there's free mission today, so win-win, I guess, it's better. Um, yeah, but let me just find this bus route and uh, we'll see. It's, an, it's a nice day. Um, it's pretty moderate temperature, I would say. There's a slight breeze and it's still a bit sunny, but it's nice. It's a uh, beautiful day. I bet if you were on the waters or at the beach, it'd be great. But yeah, let's just take a look, see if I can find this bus stop and I'll let you know when I get there. Alright, see ya. And right now I am in the grounds of the Halifax Citadel. In the main area of it. So behind the base. There's quite a few people today. And there's a few people all day. So look around they have their main base there they just finished um their 21 gun flute picking up the cannon up there i think right up there, the cannon. and then afterwards uh, firing artillery 21 times so just a look around the base uh, we have these walls right this is built on top of a huge hill so you can see the enemy coming Wow, it's really cool being in here. I think like back then they used to use this and there were like soldiers just camping out here. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna head into all these places that we can go and uh, definitely take some pictures. Alright, see you yeah. And right now I am on top of the walls of the citadel. where they set up their defenses. They're ready to get ready for oncoming and right behind me I have a signpost so this is the signal we use the signal so if the ship is coming in the port or if anyone has signal we can communicate uh, with others so that's pretty cool um, we got the bag pipes going right now it's nice the day is uh, it's not as sunny as earlier so we got a bit of cloud now, so that's a bit better that way. And uh, as you can see right behind me, it's cleared out a bit. I think everyone's uh, headed off to lunch right now. It's around 2 almost. And right behind me is the whole city right there. Really large. Quite a while to explore the whole fort. Here. It's a large fort, and the shape is very interesting. Here. It's kind of like a, it has points and edges, and it's kind of like a star shape, I'd say. Um, but yeah, we have. It's like I wouldn't say a moat. It feels like a moat, but like it's like you know uh, separation between the outer walls and the inner walls. So even if they make it into make it into the first wall they still have to pass the uh, second one so it's interesting and, yeah, it's nice the view from up here is amazing yeah. you can see how it would be uh, how are you too um i can see how it would be a very strategic position to place yourself in so that you can see everything any enemies that are trying to attack 
attack. It is so Yeah, yeah. Uh, got some a bit sunny again. Those cool, there's like a lot of rooms to, to check out where like the soldiers would live, where no, some soldiers were how the figures play orders, uh, storage rooms and everything like that, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's just in that view of downtown Halifax. Around, yeah. And then across the across the waters it's Dartmouth. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head down to the gardens now. Uh, uh, I forgot the exact name, but gardens, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna check that out. All right, I'll see it's you. Late, and right now I am walking through the Halifax Public Gardens. Um, it seems like quite a big little park or garden. So I took a picture of the map. Hopefully I can find my way around. And, uh, wow, there's a uh, there's a little lake, a uh, body of water in the middle. And we'll check that out. But this looks like it usually has water right behind me here. Um, I guess maybe they just don't want it on today. Ooh, for that little really nice water. And yeah, behind me with the area is just. So there's water down there if you can kind of tell but yeah i'll continue right when i get to the water take some pictures hey, it's late and i'm sitting on a park bench of the gardens overlooking shade from the trees and a small breeze it's nice it's nice so it's calming we got the ducks over there sleeping it's serene just sitting here I, I, I could probably sit here for hours just resting So I'm going to take a break here, and then I'm going to continue exploring after that. Hey, it's so late, and right now I am walking down the Halifax riverfront, and it's a very beautiful view out there on the water. It's a very nice day. We've got a lot of people with boats out on the water. I'm heading to Pier 21. Uh, there's a museum there, and it's going to be closing soon. So wanted to get to that and visit that real quick before I head out and get some dinner. So, just walking down the pier and as you can see there's an island over there, I forget the name of it. I think it's island or... I forget the name, but uh, no, I think we can only get there from the pier. There's no ferry that I've seen. It's over there. So, Nice, nice breeze. Search through it, but walking around here is really going to get a bit more of a uh, how immigration was. So I'll take a look around and I'll tell you how it was. It's a wave. Right now, I am on the Halifax Ferry. Uh, you can see them across the waters to Dartmouth. There's two. There's one. There's this one that takes you to Dartmouth. And then there's another one that takes you to another uh, port. So, yeah, this is my first time being on it. Um, I just want to see how it is because. I explored some of downtown Halifax today. It's been a nice day, uh, nice casual day. 
and uh, I've worked in the Sagarasapura for some of the cats and dirt mount, but you're, uh, you're, there's another base over there, and you know, I've worked in school over there, so and I had to travel into these places. Uh, another way you can use, you can use the bridge down there and take a bus over into dirt mount, uh, or you can use the ferry. So. I feel like a very school where it be on this. Oh, this feels like Central Island to me. You know, it's run so well. Uh, you need to get to Central Island and take that ferry. Uh, but this is like connecting two whole like land masses right here. It's way larger than Central Island. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. And I think we're starting. We're about to head over there. And I'll see you in Dartmouth. They're telling me it's like cheese curds, so not mozzarella, so it didn't melt. And then also like a lot of protein was just burnt. It just tasted burnt. It's bitter the whole thing. I'm trying to, I've been trying to find some water to fill up my water bottle on the cat, so dying of thirst. This view is amazing. So probably gonna rest up a bit, take a park bench, and just uh, yeah, rest a bit, and then. When it hits like 10 o'clock, they're gonna start the fireworks. So I don't know if it's actually better to sit here and watch it, or I should go where the fireworks are because where the fireworks are is the uh, the Grand Parade, like the Grand Parade uh, grounds, and that's right by City Hall. And so I guess watching it from the Citadel would be nice. Watching it from here would also be nice, I think, because. It's gonna go explore this park a bit and if I do decide to go and watch the fireworks I might take a bus back because I have some time I might just go back to the to the base first and then go out again so I can like rest at uh, Russell House back in back in the base the Halifax base so I'll see but yeah, just for now this view is amazing of the Halifax Harbor and just around me is the park. We have one of these, I think these are called gazebos, right? I'm just gonna write a book on that. Gazebo on the roof. I don't know what it's gonna be about, but the title sounded cool, so that's what I was gonna do. I took here was pretty sketch. It was like up a hill, had a dead end, and then there's some like thick brush, and then there's like a small asphalt path. You just pass it, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, park park looks nice. Yeah, just that down the down the hill. I wonder if you can toboggan I mean, I'd probably hit the tree. That wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't be ideal. That wouldn't be really safe. But yeah, uh, my arm's getting tired from holding this up, so. I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna enjoy this view for a bit, and then uh, we'll see how much time I have until fireworks, and then uh, plan accordingly. All right, see ya.
at the Grand Parade Grounds and just finished the fireworks show. An amazing concert here. Uh, great cannon, a great way to have the cannon today. I explored so much in Halifax today and it was beautiful. It was amazing. Going to all the museums here, the wide, going up to Citadelville and uh, yeah, just exploring. And then the crowd here was great. Fun time and right now we go around, uh, go around, go with the crowd, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the last few hours of Canada Day. We go tomorrow and it's a new day. So uh, now that's it. And happy Canada Day, guys. I'll see you.